What's up guys? Okay, so first class we are doing in this series is the Arcane Mender class. Go over the abilities here real quick before I go into a game and show you how they work. Uh, so your first ability is Guardian Sprite. You put a shield on an ally. It absorbs a thousand damage. It increases the healing they receive by 50% for six seconds. Purification removes all debuffs from a target ally or yourself, then prevents new applications for nine seconds. Transcendent Blast. Basically, it has six tiers based on how much you heal or damage you absorb with shields. Uh, once you've absorbed or healed 5,400 worth of damage or shield, uh, this does 1,900 damage, which is amazing. You can one-shot the like mini elites, uh, the bigger guys that are kind of a pain to take down, but if one of them's picking on you, it's good to keep this on hand to uh, take those out or snipe one of the their healers. And then you have your ultimate, Greater Heal, has two charges, instantly heals someone for 1500 health. It recharges pretty quickly, so you don't just want to hold on to the two charges. I usually try to hover around a charge, a charge and a half, and keep using them. If anyone gets down low enough, you might as well use it, because... I've definitely noticed people just pop potions when they're at half health when they shouldn't. So, you might as well just keep them up. And your signature right-click ability is Mending Wave. It has three charges, 18 second cooldown per charge. And it heals in a cone in front of you for... F heals you, yourself, and everybody in front of you for 400 health. And its passive gives you 500 additional HP. So, let's go into a game. Hopefully we can get our teammates to take some damage. So right there, I just shielded my battle mage bot. You see the white bar by his health bar? That is the shield. And you see I just got good play clutch barrier. So the barrier absorbed enough damage to give me a clutch play. Now that might give you bonus XP and stuff. I'm not entirely sure. Haven't discovered that. So you right click your signature ability that lets you heal in a cone is that. So you can see how I healed everybody. And above my health bar down there you see an icon and I currently have four stacks. That is for my transcendent blast. I'm going to shield him. I'm going to try and save up six stacks and use it on a pretty decent sized... What, what is this bot doing? Hey, get your butt over here, buddy. All right, we're at five stack. All right, we now have six stacks. So I'm gonna try and find a semi big elite to show you that it, that you can just go up and one shot them. Come on, quit spawning these little fellas. All right, right here, this guy, boom. 1100 damage Not too shabby even though it's supposed to do 1900. I don't know if that number was wrong or what but yeah There you go, and so you see this bot's hurt. I'm gonna alt him and Healed him back up to full and that's your alt And other than that you basically run around right click for the aoe heals And then you save your alt for clutch heals and that's about it That is the arcane mender all right, next in the Arcane School of Magic, we have the Chronomancer, which cost me 15,000 gold. This took a little bit to save up for. Whew. But, we're going to go over a little overview of their abilities. So, we have our number one ability is Haste. It applies a 20% Haste bonus damage and bonus healing to a target ally and yourself for eight seconds that's a hell of a buff temporal field creates a centralized area of time manipulation applying a 40 percent slow to all enemy targets for 10 seconds buff and debuff durations are altered chrono leap leap into the future avoiding damage and cleansing debuffs for up to five seconds basically it puts you in this little shell and you become immune to everything for a set period of time You'll see. Your ultimate is Cease Continuum. All enemies and projectiles are brought to a near complete stop for 20 seconds. 
it's very powerful. That's a long time. Buff and debuff durations are altered. Passive. All ultimate accrual rates are reduced by 50%. If you stack all ultimate accrual rates on this, it can be insane. All right. And stasis beam. Something's in my eye, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm blinking. <laughs> Uh, so your right click signature ability shoots a beam out for up to 10 seconds dealing 55 to 1100 damage and stacks a 12% slow every 0.5 seconds up to a maximum of 60%. Buff and debuff durations are altered and it gives you 500 health. So let's go give this class a test. Alright, let's try the buff first. Let's buff him. Oh, yeah, look at that run speed now. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's slow these suckers down. Oh, I got stunned. All right, I'll just leap forward into time and avoid that damage for now. Get out of the way of that. All right, let's try to right click on the sniper. Oh, well, he died. All right, so it has a pretty good cast time. So you do not want to use your number two ability if there's mobs near that are going to interrupt you. Noted. All right, well, we went ahead and ended up hitting team level three before actually getting our ultimate up. So as you can see, that is your alt. Everyone basically becomes frozen. It's pretty cool. It's very powerful as well. Basically freezes everything and lets your team not only destroy everything, but you're not going to take any damage during it either. And I think that basically sums up the Chronomancer. Buff. Slow. And beam of death. Bada bing. All right, and last in the school of arcane is the elementalist. The elementalist it has a heal ability and it's it's like a weird fusion between a healer and damage dealer. So you have your meteor which is AOE, applies a dot. You have your aqueous globe, which puts a circle kind of dome on the ground, where as long as you're in it, you have increased defenses. Uh, and it also blocks incoming ranged attacks. You have quake, which is an, another AOE damage over time, like meteor. Your alt is a circle that reses downed allies and heals over time. And then your right click is glacial armor. It puts a damage shield on an ally or yourself. So, it's more of a DPS than the Arcane Mender. They're pretty similar, but... So let's try out the Meteor. If everything doesn't die. So there's the Meteor. We'll put the globe down right there. So in this globe, you can see the shields on your teammates and on yourself, it means you have increased defense. We'll drop the quake right there. So when you drop the quake, it's going to sit here and it's going to pulsate like this and do damage every time it pulsates. I put the armor on him, you can see the crystals on him. All right, we now have our ultimate. So I'll go ahead and just demonstrate that right here with all my buddies. So you can see the circle, the outline of the circle. It's a pretty decent sized circle, to be honest. It's not showing on the ramp, but oh well. So, boom. So if they were down, it would bring them from the down state. It heals you immediately and then puts a heal over time on you. 
It's a really good alt.